So the joint ticket is actually between Lincoln Cathedral and Lincoln Castle. It offers a 20% discount on the price of visiting each of the inst uh, each of the attractions. So it's perceived to be quite good value before you start. It gives you full access to the cathedral, including a floor tour, and it gives you access to everything at Lincoln Castle, including the display of Magna Carta, the document itself, uh, a wall walk, and also access to a Victorian prison and some very nice grounds at the castle. As well as giving the 20% discount, it also gives a free return visit within six months. And that actually has been one of the perceptions of great value because each of the attractions you can spend a day at at least if that's what you want to do. Uh, and so having this return visit allows people to actually think, oh, yes, well, we can spend one day here, one day there, and we can keep coming back if that's what we'd like to do. One of the reasons why the joint ticket works is because you can see that the castle and the cathedral are in very close proximity. In fact, they are but a stone's throw away. And that really makes a big difference to us. Now, as part of the joint ticket, as I say, they get access to this glorious building and access also to the chapter house, which was where parliaments were held in Edward I's day, and also to the green space that is the cloister. Has the joint ticket worked? Well, yes, it has. It's been brilliant. The cathedral has actually made quite a lot of money. <laughs> we're ahead of our budget, which is brilliant because we're, we're looking at the moment at 63,000 more than the budget that we expected and it was a very stretched budget to start off with. And every penny of the money that we make will go back into the cathedral building to make sure that um, it continues to stand. But you can see there that August was uh, income close on to £100,000. And that actually is our best month ever. Now, what you see here is the demographic for our visitor numbers. I can't remember who it was who talked about families earlier on today. But one of the really good things about the joint ticket is the fact that not only have our visitor numbers increased, but in 2014, our family visitors were just 1% of around 48,000 visitors. Now, they're 3% of 67,000 paying visitors. Now, when I first started at Lincoln Cathedral, um, I used to hover around the West End entrance, and I'd see lots of people coming to the, the door and then not going in. And I'd ask them why. And primarily, well, one was cost, so, you know, the joint ticket has really helped in that respect. The other, though, and much more um, compelling for the visitor, was that they were scared by the enormity of the building. It is huge. It <coughs> was once the tallest building in the world in the 16th century. And it is a very, very imposing frontage, and relatively speaking, a little door. Now, one of the things that we found with the joint ticket is that because people have got that ticket in their hand, they feel like they've got permission to enter. And it's wonderful. So the joint ticket for us has been an incredible success. It's also been a success for the castle, who have exceeded 168,000 visitors in, the, in their six months. And I think uh, the Visit Lincoln people are also pretty pleased because they're the third venue that sells tickets for these for the joint ticket. And they've also been able to maximise their income and their sales and their footfall. <laughs>